Happy Wednesday to everyone. So I woke up this morning and of course I had a deluge of Happy Mother's Day text from everywhere which was awesome. And obviously by the time I get this up Mother's Day has passed. But I have a whole different perspective um, with this pregnancy. And so I just want to say Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Um, and I hope that you had a wonderful Mother's Day. Hey everyone, it's Rushni, and this is my 33 week pregnancy vlog. Now my husband is downstairs watching a movie, so I don't know if you guys are hearing that, but if you hear a bunch of booming and stuff, that is why. Um, also just got home from church and I'm starving, so I'm going to make this as quick as possible. This week's symptoms have really picked up. Um, I still have things like the heartburn and I have to eat very often but I can't eat a huge amount or else I'll get stuck up in here and it kind of holds up in my throat. Um, so that's been a symptom that I've always had. Um, lots of spreading hip pain. I've been having a pain since Sunday. Um, bikini line in the front of my pubic bone and when I call my doctor they said that it's kind of like round ligament pain just a different version of it and that he's growing so I'm okay with him growing that is definitely the goal um so that has been something else last week or the week before my ankle started swelling first my right ankle was getting pretty big and then my left an ankle kind of followed suit a little bit um and what I ended up doing about that is you know obviously I keep my legs elevated as much as possible but I got um, what I will show you guys when I do my measurement, it is a upsy belly belly band. And basically what I did was I went to Cotton Babies. Information is down below. They have two St. Louis retail locations. And while I was there for my cloth diapering class, I um, tried on this upsy belly because the top of my stomach just felt like it was always pulling, pulling all the time and it was very uncomfortable. Tried it on, loved it, but it cost like 70 bucks and I was not going to spend that. So I, I searched all over, <laughs> couldn't find a, um, a comparable one. I even bought one from Babies R Us that was three pieces and ended up taking it back because even though it did what I wanted to, it just was not, it's not going to work for me. And I ended up getting this upsy belly band off of Amazon. The cool thing about it is it has a little pocket in the back um, for, uh, it comes with a cold hot pack so you can put it in the freezer or you can microwave it so just in case you have back pain you can use it. And then ask postpartum after you have the baby, so like if you happen to have a cesarean, then you can turn it around um, and put the cold hot pack on your belly parts. So that's really cool. So. That is one of the products that I love, 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 and I'll show it to you guys in a second. The next product, I was sent this by a company, I think it's called Fairhaven Health. And it is Dream Belly Butter Natural Stretch Mark Prevention and Repair Cream. Now, I have been using, I told you guys, I have been using um, some shea butter at first on my belly every day after I oiled up in the shower. And I also then I started mixing aloe gel with um, Sanika's Bebe Shea Moisturizer. And now this is all I use. I love it. I love it. I love it. So this is what it looks like. It is a thick, creamy consistency. It has a very pleasant, very light, pleasant smell to it. It is awesome -tastic. Um They have, it says it has all kinds of good stuff in there. I'll put a link to the company below. Um, I don't know, I think that it, let's see, it says prevention and repair. I'll say this, my stomach was itching a lot because there was a lot of growth and stuff going on, itching, 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 and I was having to put stuff on twice a day. And when I started using this, I really don't have to use stuff twice a day. Like, I would have another container downstairs because middle of the day my stomach would start itching again. I don't have to ever put stuff on again when I put this stuff on. It is thick, it is wonderful, it absorbs right into your skin, it is one Full. And when I started using the maternity band and I purchased it, got it from Amazon pretty quickly, um, when I started using it, my feet stopped swelling, my legs stopped swelling. So it's been pretty off and on, but it's not swelling as much. If I don't wear it during the day, my legs swell. If I do wear it during the day, I get no none to minimal swelling depending on how much walking around. I'm at 33 weeks today, which is crazy, crazy, because that means that in about six weeks or so, month and a half ish I'm gonna have a kid and <laughs> so freaked out so my husband and I have a couple classes we're going to this weekend that's gonna be fun um, and I think my shower is next weekend or the weekend after absolutely crazy 
I'm just so jaw dropped. It just seems like everything is going so quickly. Um, and then after the shower, my husband and I are going to spend the next, the following weekend kind of just getting everything together. And we have like flicker bug day. We're going to like return stuff and buy stuff that we need and just get everything together. So let me do my weight. Let me do my belly shot. Okay, my weight is 2086, which is kind of shocking to me because I, I thought I'd be a little bit bigger than that, but I think they say you're only supposed to gain a pound a week, and last time I was 205, so that makes about sense. So 2086 is my weight, and now I'm going to show you the Upsy Belly Maternity Band, and then I'm going to do my... Um... So this is the Maternity Band, my Upsy Belly. I think the company is actually called Belly Bandit. Like I said, I'll have the information down below. And this is the pocket on the inside where you put the hot cold pad. And I don't have a picture of the hot cold pad, I'm sorry. It's downstairs. And then you wrap it around yourself. The way that I like to wear mine is pretty high on my back. Because I find like if you put it really low like this, it, it not only is hard to sit in, especially if you're not six foot one. I've heard that that's a problem this part really interferes with your bladder so what I do is I put it really really high I tilt forward and I kind of make a belly fling right below my belly button so you see like the whole bottom of my stomach where my bladder is is not interfering and this thing has been a godsend I no longer feel all this pulling at the top of my stomach because your stomach gets stretched and it's just uh, and then like I said my um, my feet have stopped or slowed swelling belly shot oh belly shot you guys boom there he is 33 weeks i'm not seeing any stretch marks i am noticing that a couple of the pre-existing stretch marks that were on this side have little dark darkening happening but i'm still not seeing anything on my belly so i'm excited about that but i still have some time to go so you never know and there we have it so this is 33 weeks. Wow, huh? There's like a whole kid in there. All right, so let us do our measurement. And as you remember, going right above the stretch mark, pre-existing stretch marks from just being super tall, and below my belly button, 43 and three-fourths so 43 and three-fourths you guys wow so isn't this a fun little and no it's not a maternity top this is just something I had um still not really wearing that much maternity clothes anyway 43 and three-fourths you guys so yeah that's my uh 33 week pregnancy vlog all right see you guys next time bye